Who's Kitty London? Kitty London, first of all, is a child of God. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a creative director. I am, from what people have told me, a visionary, and I will take that. I am also now a motivational speaker. That kind of fell in my lap along with the makeup artistry. God has given me so many talents, and unfortunately, the curse of having so many talents, you really don't know where you belong. You really don't know your purpose. You start questioning yourself, how could I have this many talents and still not know my purpose? I mean, I could be a songwriter, I could be a makeup artist, I could work in front of the camera, behind the camera. And I think that was the biggest thing for me this year, 2016, was to find my purpose. I just turned 40, and for most people, 40 is a milestone birthday, because when you look at it, you're pretty much halfway there, chronologically. You know, you, 40 more years, you'll be 80. So pretty much anything that you want to do is, is coming down to the pipes. You need to you know, get where you're going pretty quickly. And this is the year that I claimed that Kitty London would find her destiny and find her purpose. So you will be seeing more of Kitty London. That's a really good question. How was the power group formed? I actually am still asking myself this. It started in March when my job sponsored me on a women's symposium. I went and I saw about 300 women in one room. All of these women had one goal, and that was to become a better person. Most of these ladies were self-millionaires, they were entrepreneurs, they were women who were trying to find their way. A lot of them came last year and this year they had a call to action and basically gave their testimony of how great they did. And I started to look around this room and I'm like, you know, we're all women, most of us are women, about 300 of them but a lot of them didn't look like me. And as a makeup artist, I have some pretty you know, high, pro high profile clients. And I, I'm like, why are we not here? Why are the majority of the women here not looking like me? And I have a problem with that. So I asked God, and people probably may laugh when I said this, but I do. I ask God and I say, you know, please give me a purpose. Use me. I want to form a group that can show and portray women who are minorities, basically doing what these women are doing here. So when I walked away with that, I asked for a name and the first thing that came to me was power. So I'm not sure if God was telling me I have the power to do the same thing that these women did, but I ran with it. So when I came up with the name power, and God helped me with this, I started to think of an acronym for what power meant. And he also helped me with this. It's called Panel of Women Erasing Restrictions. Because so many women have restrictions, whether it's their children, whether it's their spouses, whether it's their own insecurities. And I think I'm here right now serving for God to say, you know what, we're gonna start erasing some of these restrictions. We're gonna start breaking some of these chains. There's so many women that I know who are holding back and they wanna do things, but something's holding them back. So I said, I'm gonna do a conference and I wanna call these women. These women who have something that's holding them back and they know that there's something bigger inside. You ever get that burning feeling when you know you're meant to do more in life? You're sitting at your job and you're just not mentally there. That's that calling. So when I decided to do this conference, these are the women I'm reaching out to. These are the women who are gonna have the power now to find their destiny, to find their purpose. The biggest thing that I think women can improve on, and it may sound cliche, is their, themselves. I think most women need to improve on themselves. We're so busy criticizing one another. We're so busy worrying about other women. And most women are nurturers by heart. So a lot of times what we do is we give up ourselves for our families, our husbands, and we're the last to benefit from anything. A lot of women have put off their goals because they were parents. 
a lot of women have put off goals because they became wives. And at the end of it all, we lose ourselves because we've given ourselves away. And going back to what I said earlier, you know, you have to worry about yourself. You can't worry about what she's doing because guess what? God has your plan. God has a destiny set for you. So if you keep worrying about the next person and how they're doing their business or how they're dressing or what they're wearing and what they have, you'll never be able to focus on you. And it's about you at the end of the day. It's not about them because you don't know what they did to get where they are. A lot of people don't know the process. They just see the final product and envy starts. Oh, she thinks she's all that. You know, we get that a lot, especially with women and i think that women should think they're all that they don't who else will we have so many faults that we kind of you know beat ourselves on oh i look fat today or my hair is not right you know my butt's not big or my stomach but at the end of the day we're all made in god's perfect eye so stop worrying about that worry about bettering yourself because at the end of the day no matter how perfect you think you look there's always going to be someone who either looks better thinks they look better and it's a waste of energy. Focus on you, start bettering you, get the tunnel vision. Don't worry about anyone else. I promise you, if you do that, you'll have a better life and you'll find your purpose. Being the founder of the Power Group, I get a question that is very near and dear to me, especially because I am the founder of the Power Group. A lot of people ask me, well, how can I benefit from this conference? You know, we have so many conferences circulating around. What's going to be different about your conference? Only thing that I can say to that is I've never put a conference on. So it's definitely going to be different because anything that's new is different. I selected a great group of women, all diverse. And these women bring a lot to the table. Not only are they business owners for the most part, but there are women who have gone through adversities, tragedies, triumphs, they're business moguls, they're, they're God-fearing women, and they come from all different backgrounds. So whether you're a person that's single or married or divorced, whether you're a person that's been dating, whether you're a person that's trying to find a business, you're going to find something in these women that you can relate to. And I think that's the biggest thing. That was the biggest thing that I wanted to have. I know you might not relate to my story. You may not have walked in my shoes, but there's somebody on that panel that you are going to relate to. And I think that's what makes you walk away from a conference feeling some type of way because there was somebody on that panel that you could relate to. I'm calling for people who have businesses, wanna start a business, wanna go back to school, just are basically are lost in not finding their purpose, feeling like, you know, I work every day, but this is not it, God. What 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 do I have to, to do in life? What is this? This can't be it. And I know a lot of people who are feeling that way. I know a lot of women who are feeling stuck. You know, they're, they're, they're fearful of, of making a change or stepping out on faith as what most people would call it. How do you step out on faith when you have bills? How do you step out on faith when you don't know if that other side is going to accept you? These are all the fears that we will conquer together as a unit, as a unity of women coming together, praying for each other, hearing each other's stories. If you're a business, bring your business cards, you know, wear your business shirt. You're going to get an opportunity to network with women you probably have never seen in your life. But that's that's what's fun about it. That's what we're doing. You're going to hear stories. You're going to hear how people are, are going through what they're going through and how they made it because it's easy to get up in front of a room full of people and, and say, oh, I'm rich and I've made it. But how did you get there? What were your struggles? Did you get your car repossessed? Did you get those late notices? Did people tell you no before they told you yes? And a lot of people don't realize you have to fail your way to success and you have to be consistent at what you do. Because if you are doing things for a trend because you feel like everyone else is doing it, I promise you, you will not make it. So we're going to pray together that you find your purpose. We're going to tell you our stories. We are going to give you the ins and outs on business, tips, putting God in the midst of it all. Because let me tell you, if you're not grounded by some, some, some spiritual, spiritual force, which I know is God, 
no matter what you do, it's not going to work. So I hope to see you there September 24th. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I prayed about it. I know it's going to work. So please don't hesitate. Don't say, you know what, maybe next time, because that's the problem. Sometimes we don't get a next time. You know, so you will be there. I know you'll be there and I cannot wait to meet you in person and just to rejoice. And we are going to do a call to action. We are going to put people in a place that they're going to basically be able to leave there knowing that they can do anything that they want to do. So again, September 24th, the airport Hilton. I plan to see you there and God bless you all. The Power Group presents What Does Love Have to Do With It Conference, September 24th in West Palm Beach at the Airport Hilton. Power, P-O-W-E-R, stands for Panel of Women Erasing Restrictions. This fun-filled conference will cover topics on being single but satisfied, married moguls, divorced but not defeated, from tragedy to triumph, loving yourself and keeping God in the midst of it all. You will have a chance to network and share your business information with others. We will have food, entertainment, and so much more. This seminar will change your language. You will go from, I want to do this, to, I will do this. It's about surrounding yourself with positive women who become your fuel. You will leave the event knowing you can do anything you set your mind to. For you have the power. Remember, September 24th in West Palm Beach at the Airport Hilton starting at 10 a.m. We will see you there. For more ticket information, please call 561-294-7590. Again, 561-294-7590.